NBA players live a life of fame and luxury, but some throw it all away. John ja Moran is in a world of trouble. Spend years in federal prison, involved in a career-ending accident. These are 11 NBA players that killed their careers. And first, we gotta talk about Miles Bridges, because he was about to make hundreds of millions as an NBA star. But one mistake ruined it all. Yeah. 2022, Miles had his breakout season. He was dunking on everyone, averaging the most points per game in his career, and with LaMelo Ball at his side, he was looking like the future of Charlotte. But in the 2022 offseason, Miles decided to risk it all. Cause just weeks before NBA free agency, he was hearing that teams were about to offer him a max contract of up to 130 million. And Miles' mouth was watering. So one night, he decided to go out to the club and celebrate. But before he knew it, he was on Instagram Live flashing a cup of lean for the world to see. And what do you know? When the internet found out, it blew up in his face. You had people calling the guy dumb, irresponsible, and not worthy of a max contract. And if that wasn't bad enough, shortly after, Miles put the final nail in the coffin. When news broke that Miles was arrested for allegedly getting into a physical altercation with his wife, and after pleading guilty, Miles was sentenced to three years of probation, costing himself a contract worth hundreds of millions, and hasn't played in the NBA since. Damn, that's a fat L. But Sebastian Telfair took an even fatter L, because this guy went from posing with LeBron to being an inmate in federal prison. I will show you my family here! Yeah. In 2003, scouts had Sebastian right up there with Legault, saying the two would be the future faces of the NBA. But while LeBron became a superstar, Sebastian became a walking disappointment. By 2007, he was only averaging six points a game, and barely even played. But there was way bigger problems than that though, cause later that same year, he made one of the dumbest decisions of his life. One night back home in New York, he was out with the boys, going 77 miles per hour in a 45. So before he knew it, his car was pulled over and being ransacked by the police, with cops finding an entire arsenal in his back seat. And after being arrested and charged with felony possession of a weapon, you'd think Sebastian would have been scared straight. But no, despite being traded just days later, the guy continued to act a fool, getting arrested again, bouncing around from team to team until 2015, when he was out of the league for good. And if all that wasn't bad enough, Sebastian finally met his fate in 2019, when he was found guilty of another weapons charge and sentenced to three and a half years in prison. My wife and I'm driving me crazy. Absolutely. They know I'm in New York. Where's your woman to go? Sebastian, my family here. Where's your woman to go? Where's your woman to go? Damn, now that's just sad. But uh, this next player is just fat, because Oliver Miller lost his NBA career by eating himself out of the league. See, in 1992, when Oliver got drafted, there was one thing standing between him and having a good career, food. I mean, as a rookie, the guy weighed over 280 pounds. So not only was he medically obese, but it also made him one of the fattest players in the league. Luckily for Oliver though, he was able to overcome his weight and have a decent start to his career. But it's not always how you start, it's how you finish. And this man finished every meal, because by his seventh season in the NBA, Oliver had eaten so much, he'd gained over 100 pounds, weighing over 380 and becoming the fattest player in NBA history. Just moving became difficult for him, never mind playing in the NBA. So as time went on, he became heavier, injuries were piling up, and by the age of 30, Oliver had officially eaten himself out of pro basketball. Man, he didn't just kill his career, he killed the scale. But Jay Williams almost killed himself, cause one joyride ruined his NBA dreams. In the summer of 2003, Jay was coming off his rookie season with the Bulls, and after a pretty decent year, people were expecting him to take a leap and become the best Bull since Michael Jordan. But Jay wanted to be like Mike, a little too much, cause he went out and copped a brand new motorcycle, exactly like Jordan's. And during his very first offseason, the kid wasn't in the gym training. He was riding that new whip around like crazy, doing one of the most dangerous things a person can do. Ride a motorcycle with no license and with no helmet. The guy was not thinking. And boy did he come to regret it. Because on one fateful day, Jay was leaving his friend's house to go home. But instead of just cruising away, he thought it'd be a good idea to rev his engine to try and look cool. And what happened next changed everything. I get on my bike. And as I'm pulling away, I decide to rev the engine. And in the middle of the third rev, all I hear is, run, run. And out of nowhere, like this bike went from me going 35, 40 miles per hour, like in a matter of an instant, to 
shit, I'm going 75 miles per hour, man. And I look up and I just see this utility pole and I'm going directly for this thing. And it, it was like that sound of metal smashing and trying to be molded together. And the only thing I could think about was basketball. In a split second, Jay had crashed badly. And while he was fortunate enough to escape with his life, it was in the hospital that he learned exactly how lucky he was. Because the doctors determined he had severed a main artery, tore three ligaments in his leg, broke his pelvis, and required multiple emergency surgeries, getting a hundred staples in his leg, and spent the next year in recovery, officially putting an end to his NBA career. Man, screw basketball. I'm just glad the guy's alive. But this next player's living it up too much, because my man Zion Williamson is doing everything he can to kill his NBA career. See, this dude's a freak. When he came into the league, people thought he was going to be the next big thing. Problem was, he was thick as hell. I'm talking 285 pounds. But at first, even with all the weight, Zion was still looking like a beast. Until his first four seasons, where he went on to miss 214 games. That's over two and a half years of basketball missed. So now no one's certain if Zion's body will hold up. But even if he gets healthy, he's having way bigger problems off the court. Because in 2023, he had his darkest secret exposed to the world. When out of nowhere, he announced that he and his girlfriend were expecting a baby girl. But there was one person who saw this announcement that was pissed. Famous... <coughs> actress Mariah Mills, who had the biggest meltdown of all time, saying Zion's a cheater, that he's been messing with tons of other women, and that she had receipts too. But it got way worse, because even though she had her Twitter account banned, Mariah's still trying to expose Zion. And at this rate, after everything the Pelicans have been through, I wouldn't be surprised if they're finally over. So Zion's got to get his act together and start focusing on his career more, or else he's going to blow it. Well, look, NBA players don't always kill their basketball career, because Paul Pierce killed his TV career. See, after 19 seasons in the NBA, Paul retired from basketball and got a different job as a full-time analyst for ESPN. And it was here that Paul turned himself into one of the most captivating, most profound personalities in all of sports. Yes! This is Paul Daily doing... Oh, 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 no. oh, I could probably get a layup versus the Lakers right now. Whoa. Oh, you trying. see all these kids doing the step back is because I pioneered. Oh. Yeah, Paul was full of hot takes. But in 2021, he dropped something even hotter because he went on Instagram Live and started wiling out, playing cards, and getting felt up by his own personal masseuse. Getting a back massage from Brad Mariah. Oh, my God. What are y'all talking about? Y'all hate Stop hating. Man, they really couldn't handle the truth, and neither could ESPN, because they thought this type of behavior was completely inappropriate for a company, and they fired his ass the next day, costing him his TV job and over $1.5 million in salary. But look, it's not only players that kill their careers, it's coaches too. Gazime Udoka made one mistake that ruined his entire life. See, in 2022, he may have made it. The man became the head coach of the Boston Celtics, one of the greatest teams in the NBA. I mean, the previous year, they had gotten all the way to the NBA Finals. And if that wasn't enough for Ime, the man got engaged to Nia Long, a Hollywood actress. 2022 looked like it was going to be Ime's year. But there was one big problem, because everyone thought Ime was working overtime, trying to coach Boston to a title, when in reality, he was putting in work with one of the Celtics office girls. Yeah, the guy was cheating on his celebrity wife with one of his co-workers. That is a big no-no, not just for Nia, but for all of Hollywood, the NBA media, and most importantly, the Celtics organization, who just a day later decided to suspend Ime for the rest of 2023, eventually replacing him as head coach after only one season. Damn, he lost his job and his wife. He should have just kept it in his pants, man. And Myers Leonard should have kept his mouth shut, because he killed his career with one word. See, after eight years in the NBA, Myers was finally coming into his own on the Miami Heat, working his way up to being a starter and signing a $20 million contract. But in 2021, Myers completely destroyed his shoulder and needed surgery, sidelining him for the rest of the season. And going through an injury is tough as hell, but for Myers, and many could spend a little more time on his hobby, streaming video games on Twitch. And look, he wasn't getting a ton of views or anything, but the guy was having some fun, playing Call of Duty, messing around with chat, until March 8th, 2021, when he was caught in 4K, saying a religious slur. Hey, cowards, don't me, you 
And what's crazy is that, according to him, he didn't even know what the word meant, but it was too little too late. The clip was so shocking that it sent the internet into a frenzy. He was suspended and fined 50 grand by the NBA, traded by the Heat, and then cut by the Thunder. At just 28 years old, Meyer's NBA career was dead in the water. What is going through your mind? That I felt like I had just destroyed my life and everything that I worked for, to be honest. People had every right to, I suppose, make assumptions about me. People were going to have to in the media comment on this, and I understand, I do. I said, you better go handle this and to show people what's in your heart, but I thought that it'd be easier to be dead than it would be to deal with what had just happened because I want everyone to like me. I don't hate anybody. I would never intentionally hurt anybody. Myers knew he screwed up, but he also knew that he wanted to make up for it if it was the last thing he did. So he spent the next two years educating himself and making sure no one else makes the same mistake that he did. That's why in 2023, he was lucky enough to get a second life in the NBA, signing with the Milwaukee Bucks, where he's just trying to be a better player and a better person. But look, there's one player that didn't want to be better. He just wanted to be different. Because we got to talk about the man who gave up his NBA career to become a Chinese superstar. Meet Stefan Marbury, who in the early 2000s built one of the hottest brands in the NBA, Starbird. Guy was the superstar point guard of the New York Knicks, selling his own line of sneakers by day and grabbing dubs by night. But he also had a couple of screws loose. See, you couldn't tell Stefan nothing. The guy was beefing with his teammates, his coaches, everyone around him. So even though he went on to become a two-time all-star, eventually, people got tired of putting up with him. And the breaking point came in 2009, when from completely out of the blue, Stefan recorded a video of himself swallowing Vaseline. Take some Vaseline and swallow it. And it'll help you. Yeah, is this the guy you want running your team? Well, the NBA didn't think so, because we didn't see Stefan back in the league again. But his story gets even crazier when in 2010, Starbury made his international debut in the Chinese Basketball Association with the Shanxi Zongyu Brave Dragons, where he turned everything back around. In fact, Stefan went on to have an even more legendary career in China. He carried his team to three championships, became an owner and a coach, and hell, he even won Best New Actor at the 2017 Chinese Movie Awards. And what's ridiculous is, this man is so popping in China, they built him a bronze statue and created the Stefan Marbury Museum. Damn, this man Stefan is blessed. But this next player was cursed, because he lost something more than his NBA career, his life. See, coming out of college, Len Bias was a superstar. He averaged 23 points per game for the University of Maryland, was a two-time ACC Player of the Year, and a first-team All-American. People were saying Lim was a franchise player, and that if he stayed focused, he could be even better than the future GOAT, Michael Jordan. So when the Celtics drafted him, they were ready to party, and so was Lim. That's why a couple of days after the draft, the kid returned to his college campus to celebrate with a couple of his friends. But that night, living it up cost Lin his life. A local success story took a tragic turn this morning. Len Bias, the Maryland University basketball star on his way to becoming a world champion Boston Celtic, died of an apparent heart attack today at Leland Memorial Hospital in Prince George's County. At just 22 years old, Len Bias was dead. How could someone with so much potential be gone so suddenly? Sadly, that's a question we'll be asking for the rest of time, because one moment can change your life forever. And that's a lesson that one player needs to learn the most. I'm talking about Ja Morant. See, if Ja doesn't get his act together, he might kill even more than his NBA career. Yeah, at first, Ja was known for being above the rim, but now, he's known for trying to be above the law, fighting a 17-year-old in a pickup game, getting into an altercation at a mall with a security guard, and allegedly having someone from his car point a gun at a Pacers employee. But I wish it stopped there, because in 2023, Ja went live on IG from a Colorado strip club and started waving a blicky around. I mean, I don't know what the hell's wrong with this dude. Well, some people started blaming it on his crew, saying Jaws acting like an idiot because he's hanging around with idiots. But whatever the reason, he's got to switch it up fast. Because just two months after he apologized, Jaws was back on social media with another blicky. I mean, you can't even make this stuff up. If I didn't know any better, I think Jaws was sabotaging his own career. He's definitely paid the price. Because just a month later, he was given a 25-game suspension from the NBA. 
and at this point has cost himself over 60 million. But if he isn't careful, it could cost him a whole lot more. Now, as crazy as Josh's story is, it's nothing compared to Mike Tyson, because that man has done it all. I'm talking fighting a New York gang leader, spending millions of dollars on pigeons, being arrested 38 times. His life is unlike anyone else's. So if you want to hear more, you need to click on this video right here. These are 20 things you didn't know about Mike Tyson. And uh, this video's over, so you might as well click it, right? What are you doing? Click it.